Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're new, we do money tips. Sometimes we talk about different investments, career start strategies, and anything that's going to help you in your wealth building strategies. So today is going to be one of the money money investment. Might be mon more money money uh, videos. So I'm going to go off the screen here and we're going to talk a little bit about stimulus checks today that are coming our way if you are in certain states. So the government is trying to do a lot to help with this inflation that's going on and the Federal Reserve. So one of the things that they've came up with is again a new round of stimulus checks. Uh, like they did during the pandemic and all the other economic downturns. So uh, this is something that hit. I'm recording this in July of 2022 at the end of July. So um, you may hear about this already. I don't know because I don't know when when I'm going to. I'm going to try and put this video out in the next couple of days so it won't be outdated by the time it gets to you so as we know inflation hit a decade long high of 9.1 in June the S&P fell into a bear market and the economy shrunk um, for the second quarter in a row now this is July of 2022 we're talking about here so if you're looking at this three years from now you know it's going to be pretty outdated but it'll be good for history so many states have historic surpluses thanks to inflation driving up. And the total state tax collections is 17% in the fourth quarter. And um, I'm going to go through some of the states that are offering um, some state rebates. Okay. If you don't already know. So in California... California, the governor, Newsom is the latest governor to announce rebates. He's going to give rebates up to $1,050 to offset the high cost of gas and other goods, known as the middle class tax rebate. So single people making under $75,000 will get $350. Married couples making under $150,000 will get $700. And uh, if a couple has a dependent, that means they're getting an extra three fifty, which would be a total of a thousand fifty. Here we go with the government issuing out more free money. Um, in Colorado, some of the Coloradians will get four hundred cash back. It's going to be supposed to help with rising costs of gas, groceries, other items. These will be delivered in the mail in August or September who filed their tax returns by May of 2022. All right. These are some of the things we go off on our channel here that I'm scrolling down to show you what we're talking about. Some of the things we talk about on our channel here. All right, Delaware. A relief rebate program was signed in Delaware in April. One-time payment of $300 per adult to help with the high cost of groceries and gas. So checks will be delivered by the end of May, whoever filed in 2020 and 2021. I'm sorry for my people overseas or my um, international people. This is mostly applying to U.S. today. Sometimes I talk about international stuff, but today we're only talking about the United States so Florida, families in Florida are getting a one-time payment of four fifty per child. And they're probably thinking, well, gee, let's go to the United States. They're giving out free money again. All right, so families in Florida are getting a one-time payment of $450 per child. That includes foster parents, caregivers, families that are receiving money from the Needy Family Program. And... Um, here are 50,000 people are expected to get these funds. I guess so. Anybody with a child, that's a lot of people. 
So Georgia is another one. People in Georgia are eligible for a rebate on their 2021 taxes thanks to a revenue surplus. This Bill 1302 was signed into law in March. Married couples can get up to 500 back. Single fathers can get up to 250. Whoever filed the head of household can get 375. All right. So Hawaii, uh, the state government of Hawaii passed a bill giving tax followers a rebate of 300 if they make below 100,000 and a hundred dollars for followers who make above that threshold. All right, Idaho. Idaho will get an email notifying them of the rebate, whoever filed in 2020 to 2021. Uh, this is, the government is using two ways to calculate this amount in Idaho. $75 or 12% of your 2020 Idaho state taxes, which is ever greater. The tax commission says it's going to issue about $25,000 payments weekly, which can be expected through di direct deposit of the mail. Illinois. In Illinois, direct rebate checks will be given to working families. Relief checks of $50 for individuals, $100 per dependent, up to three children per family will be sent at a cost of $685 million in Illinois. Um, I don't know where people are getting all this money at. It's awesome. Um, Indiana, the government in Indiana expects to give more than $4,125 million checks to residents thanks to a large state revenue. All right. Um, Indiana. The Department of Revenue says money will start arriving in bank accounts in May. And I guess this is May of 2023 because um, we are getting this information in July of 2022, unless they've already gotten it. All right, Kentucky. Tax filers in Kentucky can get a rebate of 500 for single filers, 1000 for joint filers. And additionally, the governor of Kentucky proposed a one-year reduction in the sales tax rate from 6 to 5%. I mean, that would help everybody instead of just certain specific people. Maine, residents in Maine are getting one of the highest reliefs in the country. Governor Janet Mills signed the supplemental budget in the effect in April, so people will get a one-time payment of $850 for inflation relief. So the money comes from a state surplus of $729 million, and to be eligible, residents must file tax return by October of 2022. So if I don't say your state, then you are not in here. Okay, so Maryland is not in here. The Massachusetts uh, Senate approved 250 stimulus check for taxpayers in Massachusetts. Single filers who earn between 38,000 and 100,000 can expect a one-time payment of 250. The state of Minnesota passed legislation giving a one-time payment of 750 to frontline workers. And apparently you got to fill out an application in Minnesota. It's open until July 22nd, which is already passed by the time this video comes out. This video is coming out around August 17th. So hopefully everybody's already gotten this information. Um, but if you don't know, I think that's the only one that has an application you got to fill out. And Minnesota. So they're giving uh, checks of a thousand dollars to Minnesota Todians to cover rising price of gas and food. Uh, New Jersey residents in New Jersey with one dependent child and tax balance of a dollar can get up to five hundred dollars, known as the middle class rebate. These payments will be issued as a check separate from your tax return. All right, New Mexico. New Mexico is bringing out financial relief in the form of $750 stimulus to help with the rising cost of groceries and gas, which is the general theme here. So depending on your income, you can get two to three payments of $250 for families. The payments will be $500. Two laws are passed in New Mexico. 
The land of enchantment, right? I'm telling you, two payments. Taxpayers can see, receive one of those payments by direct deposit or check. Now in Oregon, let's see what they got in Oregon. Oregon Department of Revenue is issuing uh, one-time payments of $600. Eligible households and qualified for the Oregon Earned Income Tax Credit on their 2020 tax filing. So it's something to do with your taxes is how they're qualifying you in there. Now Virginia um, will issue up to $250, $250 for individuals, $500 for married couples, and eliminates the 1.5 state grocery tax. Wow. So they have a grocery tax in Virginia. Concerns have, have raised the stimulus payments can contributed to inflation, but... Um, the relief money would would be a great effect to the supply chain issues you know according to the war in ukraine the gas prices so um new hamster let's see what's going on with new hamster new hamster proposed a one-time rebate of 25 dollars. that's it 25 dollars. all right kansas has um made a budget amendment in april announcing a one-time 250 and fifty-dollar tax rebate to all Kansasans who fought a 2020 tax return. It will cost the state $460 million. And that has not been finalized yet, but that is, it is going through the Congress and Senate. Uh, North Carolina. State Senators proposed a one-time $200 payment to all licensed drivers in the state. The gas tax rebate would be funded out of the state's 1.3 million revenue surplus. All right, South Carolina. Two Democratic legislators in South Carolina are raising income tax 1% in order to fund $400 checks for individuals over 17 years of age. Now, to me, that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand that. Can somebody explain that to me? Why are we raising the income tax? How is that going to help everybody? I don't I don't say. So we can give some people $400 checks. And who are they giving these $400 checks to? It doesn't say. It just says some individuals over 17 years of age. That could be almost half the people in the state. So they're not real clear on South Carolina there. Um, the Federal Reserve is doing what it can to control inflation. Um, it's pushing the country closer to a recession. And we already know a lot of this. Um, the government hasn't yet answered the call on all these states. And if your name, if your state was not, if I didn't speak about your state, then it is not getting any money. And, of course, this applies only to the United States. It's not applying to uh, my international people. If you all move over here to a state, you might be able to get some free money from the government. I don't really understand why we are relying on the government for all this free money. But there it is. You know, I don't know why the government... Why don't they just lower our taxes instead of continuously giving us free money? I mean, give me free money in my taxes. That would be better. If you have any opinions on this or whatever, you know, be sure and comment below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you.